When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountains. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and he taught them. Welcome to Daily Devotions at Kramenkirk. This is Tuesday, the 1st of September in the year 2020. We hope you're well and you're going to enjoy this short time together. Let us pray. Thanks to you, Lord Jesus, for all the benefits you have given us, for the insults and pain you bore for us. O oh, friend and brother, may we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Jesus the Storyteller, that's the theme of the Daily Devotions this week. And this morning, we're going to share the story of the Good Samaritan from Luke's Gospel. It's a story which needs little introduction. Yet, where would the world be without this single story from the lips of Jesus? Don't we need to recover the vision of neighbour as a first step? to a just sharing of the earth's good things. Listen afresh as you note and hear these great words again, the Samaritan's act of kindness prompted by no laws. It's a senseless act of beauty from which he will gain nothing. No cause is promoted, no policy advanced, no logical end served. The Samaritan responds with all his being and all his resources, simply because of a stranger's need to be taken and treated kindly. As long as stories are told, the action of that Samaritan will never be forgotten. Let's read the words afresh from the Bible. It is Luke chapter 10, and I'm going to read from verse 25. A teacher of the law came up to try to trap Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to receive eternal life? Jesus answered him, what do the scriptures say? How do you interpret them? The man answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. And love your neighbour as you love yourself. You are right, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But the teacher of the law wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, who is my neighbour? Jesus answered, there was once a man who was going down the road from Jerusalem to Jericho when robbers attacked him stripped him, beat him up, leaving him half dead. And so it happened that a priest was going down that road. But when he saw the man, he walked on by on the other side. In the same way, a Levite came along, went over and looked at the man, but then walked on by on the other side. But a Samaritan who was travelling that way came upon the man. And when he saw him, his heart was filled with pity. He went over to him, poured oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own animal and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Take care of him, he told the innkeeper, and when I come back this way, I will pay you whatever else you spend on him. And Jesus concluded, in your opinion, which of these three acted like a neighbour towards the man attacked by robbers? The teacher of the law answered, the one who was kind to him. And Jesus replied, go and do likewise. Thanks be to God. Amen. And now let us bring our prayers for others. Let us pray together. 
as we join in these daily devotions, settle our hearts and thoughts and help us to be attentive to you as we listen to your word and a wonderful story. Let us grow and learn more of your ways. And as we join in prayer with Christian people the world over, let us be challenged and comforted and changed. Give to us strength when we are overstrained, guidance when we are perplexed, courage when we are afraid. Like the Samaritan, help us be sensitive to others' needs and swift to meet them. Walk beside us and teach us your ways as we ask forgiveness for ourselves when we have failed you or our neighbours in need. We thank you for our family and friends, for all the interests and activities that makes life worth living. We pray for people in places of turmoil and conflict, all who experience discrimination and unfairness, people trapped in abusive relationships, and those who feel they simply don't fit in as our lockdown restrictions are eased and we settle into new patterns of life, we pray for people returning to a new normality, especially our children and young people returning to school, college and to university. And hear our prayers now for those we are specifically concerned about this day. And now we pray together, joining with your whole family in heaven and on earth and saying Jesus' words. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And let us close today by saying the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. <laughs>